a good time to remind you of the definition of index of refraction and how to use it. This problem says, the speed of light in a vacuum is three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. The speed of light in some unknown material is 1.5 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, half as slow as in the vacuum. What is the index of refraction of the unknown material? We're looking for index of refraction. Index of refraction, the symbol for that is N, that's index of refraction. And what it is, is it's the ratio of how fast light goes in a vacuum to how fast it goes in a material. So let me just write this out. N, index of refraction. C, speed of light in a vacuum. Which is basically times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and Z, speed of light in the material. So just looking at this relationship for a little while, this numerator is basically a constant, how fast light goes in a vacuum. So you can see that the slower light goes in a material, the smaller this denominator will be, the bigger my answer will be, the bigger my index of refraction is. So one thing index of refraction tells you is that the bigger this value is for material, the slower light must go as it travels through that material. Now in this case, we have a material where light is traveling half as fast through that material as it does in a vacuum. And so we can solve for the index of refraction. We can look for that ratio of 3 times 10 to the 8, the speed of light in a vacuum, to 1.5 times 10 to the 8, light in the material, it's half as slow in that material, and so since the speed of light is twice as big as the speed, a speed of light in a vacuum is twice as big as the speed of light in the material, the end value for that specific material is 2. Had the speed been slower, the end value been bigger. Had the speed been less, the end value been smaller. So that index of refraction tells you for a given material uh, an idea of how slowly light goes that material.